Hey guys, how's it going? I'm going to do a little work on the Glary Strat Tone King. So, I've kind of already done a little bit of work on the fretboard. I've, I've taken the frets out. They were pretty rough. Um, pulled the nut out. But I've started working on radius in the fretboard to uh, a known radius. <laughs> It might have been 14. Uh, it's just hard to know. I, I know what I'm doing is I'm radiusing it to a 12 inch radius. Um, we've still got a little bit of work to go. I'll show you what I'm doing here. I'm, I'm trying to take off as little material off the fretboard as possible. So just got a pencil. So we're just gonna mark the fretboard. And what we want to do is make all the pencil line disappear. So I'm going with some 220, and this is this is just adhesive back sandpaper. So I'll roll out a little section, line up with my radius beam. Take my razor blade. This is an older blade, so it's fine. There we go. Sure, it sticks down real good. And off to work we go. So, I'm not going to use a whole lot of pressure here. Move this out of the way. I'm not going to use a whole lot of pressure. Um, I'm just going back and forth, trying to keep it keep it even. Just letting the sandpaper do the work. And you can kind of see what I've got going on here. You see I've got some flat here still and some flat up here still. So I have to I have to grind it all the way to make sure it's flat. Right? Because that's that's what we're aiming for is is a radius a flat radius right flat 12 so we'll keep going Don't want to work one spot too long. Just kind of make sure you hit the whole thing. Now if this if this were twisted, this would this would tell a tail as well, because you'd take off you'd take off more on one side than you would the other. So thankfully we're not we're not twisted. Or if it if it was twisted a little bit, uh, I've since gotten that taken care of. So we're pretty getting pretty close. So I'm gonna back off with the 220, and I'm gonna go to a 320. So I'm just gonna smooth it up a little bit more. 
same as before. This, um, this sticky back sandpaper I got from a, uh, from a supplier out of, I believe it was North Carolina somewhere. This stuff is relatively inexpensive. I mean, you can buy the Stumac stuff. The Stumac stuff is good. It's 3M. It's high quality paper. Um, but I think I paid, I think I paid about $4 a roll for those. Four or five bucks a roll, maybe six bucks a roll. It wasn't very expensive compared to Stumac play, paying 10 bucks a roll or whatever they call, whatever they charge. So again, same thing. I'm going to. I'm going to remark it up just so I can kind of keep an eye on what's going on. Again, I just want to take off kind of the same amount as I go. I'm just trying to get the pencil pencil lines gone. pretty good we got a little bit of pencil line left here on the end so we'll just hit that a little bit again not trying to take off too much in any one spot going down to a less aggressive paper it's more is helpful. I'm just tighten down the neck. Let's see. All right. Now we'll go up to. 600 I guess that's my next grid up and this is just this is just trying to make sure I don't have any scratches in the fretboard actually I probably shouldn't do this yet yeah might as well because our next next part of this is actually putting frets back on it Yes, I am going to finish the fretboard. Um, maple maple fretboards need finish, in my opinion. So, here's some 600. I'm not going to mark it up. I'm just going to... We're not taking much material here. We're just making sure it's smooth and taking those, taking all those 320 get grit scratches out. This thing's still recording. Yeah, we're good. Okay. So there we go. We have a, a nice smooth fretboard. 
Um, most of these, uh, where the frets came out, the old frets came out, and it kind of splintered up the fretboard a little bit. Most of that will be covered up by the new frets, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, I do plan on sealing in the ends there a little bit, but uh, I'm going to do something else here. I'm going to take... Uh, I'll take a little piece of 320 here. Fold me over a little, a little bit. I'm going to roll the fretboard, roll the edge. Give it that played in feeling where it's nice and comfy uh, I can tell you this thing did not have a rolled fretboard when I got it as you can see that's gonna be nice and nice and comfy on the low side nice rolled edge there I'm gonna do the same on the upper edge and again I'm not going aggressive just 320 not taking a lot of material off. Just knocking that hard edge off. Just trying to make it more comfortable to play. All right. Here we go. 